blue light shoppers. We're talking today about living large on a small budget. Before we left, Shelly changed clothes, actually, dur during our break, actually. She changed into that beautiful designer dress that she's wearing. It is absolutely beautiful. Please stand up, but don't tell us how much it cost yet. Absolutely beautiful. Isn't that lovely? That would like go great in any celebration. Um, before we tell you how little she paid for that, just stick around. We also, Shelly has even taken her cost-cutting measures into her home. We're going to talk about that also. But first, we sent off two ladies in our audience to go and try on some thrift shop wear. And we're going to have our models come out, Cynthia and Leslie. Ladies, come on and let's see what you have on. <laughs> This is Leslie, wearing a little silk outfit, little top, little belt, little Bermuda shorts there. Now, Shelly, tell us about this. How much was that? Well, the top was uh, everything you could stuff in a bag for a dollar, so I guess it was about a nickel. The, the shorts were $2.69 at Salvation Army, so it's a $2.79 outfit. I think the belt was free. It was in my neighbor's front yard again. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Leslie. Cynthia, come on out. Let's see what you have on. Really sharp. Yeah, sharp little outfit. Cynthia's wearing this outfit. Tell us about this one, Shelly. This now is this, great to wear to work in the summertime. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? Yeah, this was, I, I overspent on this. It was 99 cents. Oh. 99 yeah. cents? Yeah, it was on a rack at the Second Day View Consignment Store in Marietta. 99 cents. And Believe the shoes? it or not. No, I don't think the shoes were 99 cents. No. I will not take credit for the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, so anyway, so 99 cents. And where did you pay for this again? Uh, at a consignment shop called Second Day View in Marietta, Georgia. Wow. Wow, there are lots of secondhand stores oh, around. Yes. Yeah, There's, absolutely. Yeah. Thanks, Cynthia. Thank you, ladies. <laughs> now, before we go any further, you've got to tell us how much you paid for this dress. I think dress. you should guess. We'll do. Let's All right, make let's a do deal. a guess. How many people want to guess about how much you paid for this this dress? How much would you? Uh, forty dollars. Forty dollars. Okay. How much? I say seventy-five. Seventy-five dollars. I'll say thirty. $30. So, Shelly, how much did you pay for it? $20. $20? Wow. Wait a minute. Uh, wait a minute. Seven and the price, $20. yes, folks, $20. It, she was sure did. it was reduced from $40, though. It's a Jessica McClintock, and I think oh, it was about wow. $200 brand new. Yeah, but, Rolanda, can I say something? Absolutely, Frank. You don't like my dress. When is the next time you're going to go to a prom? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Spot here. Wait a minute, let Shelly answer when she's going to go to the Listen, I am one up on him because I did not buy this dress. I am modeling it for the store and I'm taking it back. Thank Woo! you. So you, somebody could have it. But you know something, laugh if you will. That would look lovely at a New Year's Eve party. That would look great at a at a birthday party. One of those parties we're going to talk about you can throw for 40 people for cheap money. Um, Shelly has also taken not only this, the cost-cutting measures, like I said, they just in clothes, but also right into her home by using a little money a little imagination, and lots of bargain shopping. And a lot of elbow grease. <laughs> this is my kitchen, and uh, we basically uh, bought the furniture, did the curtains, uh, the seat cushions I made, made the uh, w balances, the window treatments, hung the wallpaper. I think the whole room cost, with the furniture, $500. Wow. And there's a buffet and a maple uh, drop leaf table set with four chairs from 1945. So it's kind of antique. Now, where are you finding these kind of bars? Well, these are through classified ads. You find your best deals on furniture through the newspaper. You don't really find good deals on furniture at garage sales unless you're lucky. You've really got to look in classified ads in the newspaper and the little circulars that come out every week. That's how I've got most of my furniture. Everything in my house has been refinished, resurfaced, or it's, it's re something. There's hardly anything brand new. So but you when you buy it. these bargains, you do have to put, like you said, a little elbow grease in. To it. it means a little work too, but yes, you, uh, mm -hmm. there have been some things I've had to just refinish the top surface of a desk, for instance, which is not that big a deal to just do the top surface. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I do have to refinish some of the things, and it's taken. You know, I've collected these things over the years. It doesn't just happen overnight that you have a whole house full of furniture. Okay. You